morning, I'm Jack. And I'm Abelardo. And welcome to Verona Local News Channel. On Sunday afternoon, the notorious feuding families, Montagues and Cablets, fought in Verona streets. This wasn't a fist fight. It was reported that swords were drawn. As we all know in Verona, the Prince set strict laws that forbid fighting in the streets. It's reported that Benvolio stepped in and tried to make peace between the two sides. Benvolio? I guess that's what they call the resident nice guy. Well, they should learn to be like him because the prince said that whoever starts a fight next time will pay with their life. Oh gosh. We'll send it down to Alice where she will interview Benvolio, Samson, and Abraham. Yeah. Thank you, Jack. We have Benvolio the Peacemaker. What do you think of all this? I think that we can set our differences aside and I'll be a big fan. Ah, we captain is paired up with these Montague rats. They are horrid. You started the fight on the street. You and all you captain of vermin should be punished for it. Oh, I certainly have a urge to fight again. My fist itches. The Globe Theatre proudly sponsors Verona Local News Channel. Please enjoy the following. Do you like theater? I do. Well, I don't. Well, I don't. We're introducing the new annual pass for the Globe Theatre. And for the very small price of one ducat. One ducat! That's, That's expensive. expensive. No, we'll buy one for you, your wife, and your kids. Welcome to Verona Local News Channel 5. My name is Jack. And I'm Abelardo. Today, a gentler judgment vanished from his lips. Nobody's death but bodies vanish. This day's black fate on most days doth depend. This but begins. The woe others must end. Dibble slain, stand not amazed. The princes do. The death of thou art taken. Oh no, I'm getting word that we have a special interview with Lady Capulet and Benvolio. Thank you, Jack. Tybalt was killed and revenged by, Rom by Romeo for killing Mercutio. Mercutio was killed accidentally while Romeo got in between the fight. Now for an interview with Lady Capulet. So, so Lady Capulet. Tybalt! My cousin, oh my, my brother's child, oh prince, oh cousin, oh cousin, oh husband, oh the blood is spilled of my dear kingsman, oh prince, as thou art true, for blood is spilled of ours, of a Montague, oh cousin, oh cousin. That's enough for that. Now to interview Benvolio. Benvolio, in your words, what was the fight like and how was it to see Mercutio die? Uh, well, Tybalt, you're slain. And Romeo did slay, but who spoke him fair, bid him bethink how nice the quarrel was, and urged with your high displeasure, brave Mercutio is dead. That gallant spirit hath aspired the clouds, which too untimely, here did he scorn the earth. Okay, that's nice. So. Thank you. And welcome to the fashion column. The present day in Verona, the new hot thing is ripped tights. The citizens of Verona are raving about this new trend, which shows off just the right amount of skin and adds an edgy look to your wardrobe. Even the prince is getting in on the action. He was spotted around the city. One citizen said, the torn tights made me feel edgy and let in a nice breeze. Go and get your ripped tights before the trend blows over. Hello and welcome back to the Gossip Column. Today is a special day in Verona some people have been waiting for. Capulet's only daughter is getting married to Sir County Paris sometime this week. The date hasn't been released yet, but we have a very special interview with Lord Capulet. 
Hello, Hello, Capulet. Hello. Good evening. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I heard you are planning a wedding for your daughter. Oh yes, a big nice wedding. Nicest wedding in years. People will be talking about it for centuries. You seem to be prepared. When will the wedding be held? Hmm. Let's see. Wednesday's too soon. Oh, Thursday let it be. Thursday will she be married to this noble earl. Thank you, Lord Capulet. This was Avalar with the Gossip Column, sending back to you in the studio. Hello and welcome back to Verona Daily News. Today we have a story straight from the Capulet residence. Yes, neighbors of the Capulets have reported a disturbingly heated argument that goes against the Capulets' usually passive manner. We have a news reporter on the scene to tell you about it. How do you, Jack? Hello, I'm here at the Capulet residence to interview one of the neighbors of the Capulets and the Capulets themselves. Here comes one now. Hello, sir, what's your name? Yeah, I'm Gregory. Hi, Gregory, nice to meet you. So what seems to be going on around here? Well, I was hanging out in my room last night, and then I just, all, uh, out of nowhere, I heard screams coming from the Capulets' house. Were these screams from Lady Juliet? I'm pretty sure they were, but it's not all I heard. I also, I heard um, Lord Capulet, too, and he was yelling, Things like, isn't she grateful to be part of such a match? And you disgust me, you worthless girl, you little bug. And all, tons of other stuff that was really mean. That's truly disturbing. Thank you. Now to interview the Capulet. Hello, Lady and Lord Capulet. Good day. So are these accusations true? It's true. Harsh things were said at the moment, but nothing too serious. Yes, we just had a little disagreement with our daughter Juliet about the marriage. Is it true you're forcing her to get married? Well, not forcing, but more like convincing. So does she have any say in this predicament? Well, frankly, I don't believe you should be digging in places you, sh you don't belong. Our family issues stay with the family. They shouldn't be open to the whole public. Good day. Good day. L.A. Thank you, Abelardo. The big fencing match was yesterday, with Sir Edward coming out on top after a strenuous day filled with fast-paced matches. He finished off William of Mantua with a quick repost that left the crowd cheery. In archery, Adam Richmond won the tournament with a score of 87, with Julius Beverly coming in a close second to 79. Next weekend will be the annual Skittles competition. You can try out this weekend on Saturday at the Globe between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Tickets will be sold at the door. Back to you, Jack. Hello, I'm Andrew. And I'm Adam. And we have live footage of Romeo leaving for Mantua. Going to Alice when we get back from this segment. We are victims of a recent wagon crash. And at first, we didn't know what to do. Before this happens to you, get Verona Wagon Insurance. Local office in Verona. Our office is located on Main Street in North Verona, 9257. Thank you, Anthony. We are here to catch Romeo just before he leaves for Mantua. Romeo, Romeo, I have a few questions for you just before you leave for Mantua. What does it feel like to be banished? Well... What do you think it'll be like outside of Verona's walls? I think... Would you rather be executed? There is no world without Verona walls, but purgatory, torture, hell itself. Hence, banished is banished from the world. A world's exile is death, then banishment. Is death Miss Mern called death banishment? Thou cuttest my head off with a golden axe and smiles upon the stroke that murders me. You heard it from the man himself, Romeo. Going back to you in the studio. Go. Welcome back. Today we have Juliet's nurse here with a special interview when we come back. Thank you, Steven. It's raining a lot out here. It's about 53 degrees, very cloudy. Try not to go outside. You don't want to get sick. Hopefully this terrible rain goes away before the Capulet's wedding on Thursday. Welcome back. Now we have Juliet's nurse. She's dead. Deceased. Dead. Oh, I like the day. Oh, lamentable day. Oh, whoa. Most lamentable day, the most woeful day that ever did yet.
never hold A hateful day never was seen so black a day as this A woeful day, a woeful Snap out of it Well that sounded just a I'm here at Lady Juliet's tomb with Lord and Lady Capulet. I'm very sorry for your loss, but if you don't mind me asking, how did your daughter die? Oh, woeful day. He died too young. Death was with her like an untimely cross, and hung with the sweetest flower of all the seasons. I know how you feel. A curse, unhappy, wretched, April day. Oh, so... Welcome back to Verona Local News Channel. We have some breaking news. Caplet's daughter Julia, Montague's son Romeo, and County Paris were all found dead. To develop this story more, we'll be right back, but when we do, we'll have the truth. Welcome to Science Nation. Today, Dutch spectacle makers Zacharias Jansen and his father Hans put several lenses together into a tube to make a very important discovery. At the top of the tube, towards the bottom, you can see what you're looking at to be enlarged. On the downside, the enlarged image seems to be slightly blurry, but we citizens of Verona are itching to get our hands on one and see what comes next.